Ask me, I true love. I could never need another side piece. Me and my gang oh my long, long ride, cause we know life be a water slide. Oh. Okay, so you guys know that velocity is a super important component of Fortnite montages. And it's honestly something that a lot of people struggle with when they first start making their own videos. So I'm going to be showing you how you can actually add velocity to Fortnite clips, Call of Duty clips, etc. I'm just going to be showing you how you can do kill effects with time remapping slash velocity. So I'm going to be doing this inside of DaVinci Resolve and Adobe After Effects. But if you guys want to check out my Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to have that in the description as well. I showed how to do that inside of Premiere. So all bases are going to be covered in terms of the software that you use but yeah if you guys do enjoy like comment subscribe i think something like 90 percent of you guys in the last month are not subscribed to the channel so subscribe it helps me out a lot we're grinding to 100,000 subscribers but yeah let's get right into the tutorial i hope you guys enjoy okay guys so i am on my pc now my shirt also magically changed but the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to go inside of our browser and look up davinci resolve download i'm gonna have the download link at the top of the description for you guys to actually check out um but with that being said you can also just search it up in google 100 free for davinci and i'm also gonna be showing after effects um if you guys want after effects it does cost money um but it is pretty minimal especially if you are a student you can get the student plan but enough said about after effects let's quickly go over davinci i'm just gonna quickly show you by opening up a new project we're gonna go here to file all this stuff i cover inside of my beginners tutorial so if you want to check out my davinci beginners tutorial go check that out i'm gonna have that linked in the description if you guys want to watch that and quickly before i get into the tutorial i want to quickly mention my brand brand new 2024 ultimate editing pack that I literally just released. And this pack includes absolutely everything you could possibly need for anything involving editing, content, etc. I have over a hundred different Fortnite presets as well as stuff for your content, TikTok and YouTube automation library, video and audio memes, practice clips for Fortnite, practice footage for editing your own videos, literally anything you could ever imagine. I don't have the link to actually go check it out down below. So make sure you go check it out. It literally costs less than a McDonald's meal and you're going to be able to make so much money from these different presets to actually edit your own stuff or edit client stuff but i don't want to take up any more time so go check it out using the link at the top of the description as well as the pinned comment let's get right back to the video basically what we're going to do is i'm going to set up a sample kind of montage project file example um so to do this she's going to get a random song so i use this actually in my recent tutorial pay me by eric Refred. gotta make sure we put the headset on So this is actually going to be our beat drop right here. And I'm just gonna cut everything else around it. So let's say that this is our beat drop that we're actually gonna have the kill on. What we're gonna do is we're gonna delete the extra surrounding area, I should say. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go navigate on over to wherever we have our clips. So we can see we got the clip right here. We're just gonna find the kill, so which is right here. And to prep, all we gotta do is we're gonna add a marker onto the kill, and that's super important when it comes down to the syncing. Now syncing, we're just gonna line it up with our beat marker. This could be adjusted by one more frame, so we're just gonna move it right here, for example. Then we're just gonna trim this all down a little bit. Okay, so that should be good. So basically we got this. And when it comes to the tutorial, you guys are probably on this step waiting to learn how to do the slow-mo. So there are two different ways you can do this. You could either right click, unlink the audio, snip it right on the kill using the blade tool by pressing B. Then we're gonna right click, go to read time controls, drag to the right and change the speed to 50%. So that's the easy way to do it, for example. Now let me show you the advanced way. To do this, we're gonna right click on read time curve. We're gonna go to adding a keyframe right here. We're gonna go one, two three four five six seven frames back right here and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this up to fast 300 percent we're gonna drag this one down to slow so like you guys can see it looks a little bit like this so just like that a little spike so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna click on this one go like this drag it out far to the left and just like that we can see that the slow mo so that's kind of a little advanced speeds up a little bit that's how you do velocity so that is basically how you do it inside of davinci two different ways to do it but yeah if you guys came here for after effects you're in luck because i'm about to hop into after effects right now show you how to do it in there let's do it all right guys so i have after effects booting up right now and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you how to do time remapping i'm gonna show you two different methods the same way that i showcased davinci i'm gonna show you how you can do the beginner method which is super easy and then i'm also gonna show you a little bit more advanced which isn't hard don't let that scare you it's not really advanced i just call it that 
that because it's a little bit more difficult than the beginner method. Um, yeah, let's do it. So basically the first thing we're going to do, we go to new composition, you could literally name it whatever, but we're going to make sure that our resolution set to 1920 by 1080. Now I go over all this in my After Effects beginner tutorials. So if you are interested, kind of the basics of the software, how you can edit itself. I'm not going to showcase how you can do each thing individually. I'm just here to show you velocity. So we're going to go to OK. We are going to navigate to wherever we have the sound that we want to use. So I'm going to use Pay Me by Eric Reppard. Same song I use in the Fortnite montage. I'm gonna find the beat for song. So I'm just gonna go like this. I'm gonna add a marker to the beat drop right here. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna press Control Shift D on either side. And one thing we also wanna make sure that we're doing is we're gonna make sure that we're pressing Control S, same bit as whatever. So I'm just gonna name it Velocity. So I'm gonna be using this little section right here to showcase the actual uh, clip itself. So let me quickly show you, I believe the one that I use is the mongrel down. I'm just gonna find the kill real quick, which is over here. And I'm gonna line up my marker real quick and make sure that we find. So this is gonna be the killer right here. I'm gonna sync this up with the actual marker that we added. I have a keybind set for adding markers, by the way. Um, I do showcase how to add markers, but basically if you wanna add a marker, you right click, go up here to markers, press add marker. That's how you do it, it's super simple. Um, now the scaling on this is a little off. So I'm just gonna stretch it a little bit. So basically, so there's two ways we could do this. To enable time remapping, which is the number one step, we're going to press Control, Alt, and T. We can see the time remap menu comes up here. Now, this is the beginner way how you can do this. So first thing, you add a keyframe on the kill. Now, what this means is that this point in time is going to stay exactly where it is. So we can see that there's automatically one placed over here, which is the start of the clip, and the imaginary space to the left of the clip that we're not using. You can see if we drag it over all the way, eventually we're going to get to that point where there's that initial keyframe. But since we're not using that, we just have our little frame. We have this frame is set in stone. So if just for peace of mind, you can add a keyframe there, it doesn't change much. What we're going to do now is let's say we wanted this frame to be in a different spot. If we were to keyframe this and drag that frame over, it would mean that this is going to be a lot slower. So if you want something like 50% speed, you'll come halfway through the duration of this little ending piece. So from here to here, you'll add a keyframe and you'll drag it to the end. That'll be 50%. So that's kind of rule of thumb as a beginner method. If you want 75%, you'll come 75% of the way, go like this, drag it to the end. That's basically that. Now, let me quickly show you the advanced method, which is what I use for my own montages. Super simple. My rule of thumb, what I do is I will actually cut the layer. So let me just quickly disable time remapping for a second. I'll cut the layer whenever this guy pulls out his shotgun. Um, and then what I'll do from there is I will press control alt T on this layer itself. I'll add a keyframe on the at the very beginning here. I'll add a keyframe on the kill and I will actually add a keyframe at the very, very end. What I'll do from here is I'll left click and hold I'll drag to select all these and I'll press F9 on my keyboard. Go here to your graph, click in the gray space, and we actually are able to graph edit this. Now, if you haven't worked with graphs before, don't worry. I know it looks super intimidating, but you know, me, myself, I learned very quickly and I know a lot of people that learn this very quickly as well. Just copy the graph that I do right here. You're going to have two points here. You're going to have one point back here. For the first one, when you click in the point, you can just drag this little yellow thing up here, drag this one down here. Obviously, the more inclined it is means the harsher that it's going to be so we're just gonna kind of want something on like almost a 45 degree angle not quite this one we're gonna bring like basically all the way up and then this one we are going to bring down we're gonna drag it to the right and then we're just gonna go like this so when we play it back it'll look a little something like this and if we want it to be not that jumpy where it jumps forward all this time before going slow-mo now, realistically, the clip would end here, so it would look like this. Super clean. That's how you do that. Um, but yeah, depending on where you drag this keyframe will determine the speed of the ending of the clip. Uh, but something like kind of how I did it, you know, you could just inch it to the left if you want, which will make it slightly faster, slightly faster. But you also want to make sure that you're dropping this a little bit because when you have a line that's basically like this, it's 100% speed. So when we incline it like this, the more it goes flat, the closer it gets to zero. 
percent speed if that makes sense so you want to make sure you have it slightly going over that flatness still arcing a little bit um that's basically how you can get the best results out of that but if you guys did enjoy you learned something make sure to like comment subscribe that's basically it for velocity that's all you'll need to know in terms of highlight editing and montage editing if you guys have any ideas for something you want to see in your own software for fortnite montage editing gaming editing youtube editing you name it leave them down below in the comments i look through your guys suggestions all the time which is actually why i made this tutorial today i actually had someone asking about it a couple weeks ago but yeah like comment subscribe we're so close to 100,000 subscribers go check out my editing pack like i mentioned at the very beginning of the video or packs i should say because i actually dropped my new one like i mentioned go check it out top of the description everything you need is gonna be down there and i will see you guys later peace out